Hello, my name is Adolfo, and this is Life of Adolfo. This is my dividends, my path to compounding my dividends. This is not financial advice. This is just me going through a road and videos to look back. This is my compounding, like I said. Now, what do I mean with that? Is that I have four weeks out of the month. Sometimes there's five, but four for the dividends. And every week I compound it or I reinvest what I got from the previous week. I just got today my dividends. Today is December 3rd, 2024. And I just got my dividend from X dividend date of 30th of November. But before I get started, I have to read the quote that I read last time or uh, last week from Albert Einstein that I like. And the quote says, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. With that being said, the dividends that I got from 30th of November are ORC, O-A-R-K. These are from the highest to the lowest. And T-S-L-Y. These are the options for Tesla. And after that, it went down to XDTE. I like this one, like I mentioned the previous week, because it gives me four dividends a month. Then GUI, G-O-O-Y, Google Option. And finally, or two more, O-C-C-I and X-O-M-O. -O. Some of these, I only got maybe one. And the reason I do that is because Weeble tells you that the X dividend date is on so-and-so date if you purchase one. And the reason I like that is because even though I have a Microsoft Excel sheet showing me which dividends are coming out, you never know if the date might change, but Weeble reminds me which ones are coming out. But my Google Sheets has me planned out on where to spend my money for the upcoming dividends. Now that I mentioned where I got my dividend money from, I'm gonna cover the three dividends that I got for this upcoming week, or I believe it's 5 December. And these are as follow. I'm gonna go from the highest to the lowest, and the highest is NVDY, which are the options of NVIDIA. And this one, in the past year has given a dividend yield of 74.38. Like I said, these are high risk, but I invest on them because like I said, I compound them and the dividend yield is higher at the end of the month. After NVDY, I did get XDTE once again with a 15.94 dividend yield. Like I mentioned, it gives me four dividends per month. I could compound it faster. And the last one is very risky. It says it has a dividend yield of 167, 167.77 MRNY. This is very risky. The stock is going down. So I do not recommend to invest on this one, but I put some so it could remind me when it's coming out. And like I mentioned on Weeble, it tells you when the X dividend date is coming out. At the same time, it tells you how much are they giving? So you could do a Google formula. I like to use Google Sheets. And on the formula, I like to see, I like to put what they're gonna give me. And at what cost is the stock at that time? And I look at the dividend yield at the moment. Meaning that we'll say that TSLY is giving me a higher dividend with X amount of dividend compared to the stock. If you know how to do the formulas on yield, I recommend that way because if you're trying to just drop money right away and trying to get the highest dividend yield at that moment, we will, like I said, gives you how much you're gonna give you and on what date. Next thing you know, you do your Google formula and you could see, pick and choose which yield is higher at that moment. And those are the three that I got. Another thing that I wanna cover and as you can see on the Weeble, it also tells you the corporate actions, how much they have given and what dates have they given it. And some of these started on the first, these yield max, and then they started spreading in four categories of the month or 
between four days of the month. Now, since I started this, not since I started this, but the last five days, I'm going to show you how my dividends are doing compared to the S&P 500. Right now, a little bit above it to the S&P 500. And on that, I also have some S&P 500 stocks basically to cover to not be so drastically down or drastically up on my dividends because I have, I'm shadowing the S&P 500 with some stocks. On another one, I, on another chart that I have here is the Dow Jones. As you can see, I'm well above it, way high on that compared to the Dow Jones. So I'm doing better than the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. And that's all I got. I just wanted to cover how my dividend path is going, what I'm about to purchase for 5 December, and just to show you if I'm doing better than the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 or not, because people want to know that too. You don't just want to buy dividend stocks and you're always on the red. Maybe I'll, I'll be on the red later, but I'll keep track on the weekly and every month since the day that I purchase, I'll show if I've been on the green or on the red as well. There's no sugar coating. There's no lying. There's no me telling you I'm doing great, but I'm not. But for so far, for right now, I am doing good. Thank you and thank you for watching.